This question is really fun to solve. It asks us to calculate the shaded area, which is this red area here. The shape of this triangle is random, and also these points are random. We don't know anything about them. We just know that this region has two unit squares of area, this other one has four, and this one has six. So, using your Sherlock brain, can you solve this? Well, the question asks for the shaded area. My question is simple. What figure is this? You might say, hey, brain station, it's a quadrilateral because it has four sides. All right, I agree. Now, how do we calculate the area of that thing? Like, how do I find the area of this quadrilateral? That's hard to answer, right? So, in order to make my life easier, I'm going to turn this shape into a figure whose area I do know how to calculate. And what figure would that be? A triangle. If you thought of a triangle, then congrats. You are right. So, I'm going to divide this figure here into two triangles like this. And I know how to calculate the area of a triangle. It's base times height divided by 2, right? Perfect. And now, what do we do after that? What's the next step? I will give this triangle's area a name, okay? I will call it P. I could call it P. I could call it whatever I want. You can even use another letter. Then I will call this triangle's area as Q. Now, are you ready for some magic? As mentioned earlier, we don't know anything about these two points, right? So we don't know what will be the length of this piece, or this piece, or this piece, or even this piece, correct? Therefore, we will label these lengths as well. I will call this as A, this as B, this as C, and this one as D. Awesome! Also, one last thing. Look at this triangle. Its height is this line segment, and we don't know that as well, so we will call it H. Now I will tell you why I did this. What will be the area of this triangle? Its height is H, and its base is this side of the triangle, or A. So its area is A times H over 2. But its area is also equal to P plus Q plus 2. So equate both of them to get this. Next, consider this triangle. Hey, the height of this triangle is also equal to H, but its base is this side of the triangle, or B. So its area is B times H over 2. But its area is also equal to 4 plus 6, or 10. Thus, we will equate both of them to get this. Now we will divide both of these equations in order to remove H and half from them. We get A over B equals this over 10. That was just wow! Okay, now look at these two triangles. Again, you can see that both of them have the same height, which is this. So, the ratio of area of both these triangles will be the same as the ratio of their bases, or area of this triangle is P. Over area of this triangle is 4 equals A over B. Noise! I am having goosebumps right now because from both of these ratios, we get P plus Q plus 2 over 10 equals P over 4. So, we have one relation between P and Q. We just need one more relation in order to find the values of P and Q. So now without calculating much, can you quickly tell me how we can get the other relation? It's simple. Look at these two triangles. Similar as before, you can see that both of them have the same height, which is this. So the ratio of area of both these triangles will be the same as the ratio of their bases, or area of this triangle is P plus Q plus 4, over area of this triangle is 2 plus 6, or 8, equals C over D. Then, if we consider these two smaller triangles, we get area of both these triangles will be the same as the ratio of their bases, or Q over 2 equals C over D. So from both of them, we get P plus Q plus 4 over 8 equals Q over 2. Aha! Bring this 8 here to get P plus Q plus 4 equals 8 over 2 times Q, or 4Q. This gives P equals 3Q minus 4. Now, in this equation, take 10 here to get P plus Q plus 2 equals 10 over 4P, or 5 over 2P. Substitute P in terms of Q from here to get this, and now this is simple algebra.
we get the value of Q as 16 over 7, and using this, we get P as 20 over 7. But we are not done yet. Our job was to find the area of this shaded region, which is P plus Q, or 36 over 7. And that's it. This is our final answer. Don't forget to share this video. This question is just too cool. Also, subscribe to the channel and give it a like. Always appreciated. You all are awesome. So good.